Okay. Yeah, so with this problem, if 5.0 grams of helium is added to a one liter balloon containing one gram of helium already, what is the new volume of the balloon? So the number of moles initially actually is going to be 1.00 grams. Okay, so we're going to have to figure out the number of moles by taking 1.00 grams and multiplying it by the inverse of the molecular weight of helium, which is one mole divided by 4.00 grams. Grams cancel, and we get one divided by four, which is 0 0.25, right? 0 0.250 moles, okay? So that's gonna be the initial number of moles. So if five grams is added to one gram, how many grams do we have now? Six grams, right? So the final number of moles is gonna be 6.00 grams, because this is five plus one. 6.00 is 5.00 plus 1.00, multiplied by the inverse of the molecular weight of helium, just like last time. Six divided by four, 1.5. Okay. So, let's get some room here. Can I erase this, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, ladies and Adrian? So these are the only variables that we've got, right? So it must be Avogadro's law because we could erase all the other variables, right? So all we got to do is isolate via, which is right here, and then solve for it. So the first thing we want to do is in. So sorry, we're looking for via. So we just got to get rid of Nn, right? So we just multiply both sides by Nn. Nn will cancel there, and we'll get that equation. So the new equation is Vf equals Nf times Vi over Ni. Does that make sense? Okay, and now all we do is plug in stuff. So NF is 1.50 mole. VI, 1.00 mole the liters, divided by 0 0.250 liters. 0 0.250 liters. Of course, liters cancel. Sorry, should be moles. Moles cancel. Okay, that makes more sense now. Since we're looking for a volume, so we could have figured that out by knowing that we're looking for a volume. So, 1.5 times 1 is 1.5, and divided by 0.25. So, 6.00 liters. So remember, volume and number of moles are proportional to each other. So if you increase the number of moles, you should also be increasing the volume. Okay? So if you get some answer that's less than your initial volume, then you know you've done something wrong. Okay? So if you add more to it, the volume is going to increase. So this is Avogadro's law, solving for Vf. Okay. 